Now if you're like me and you like to clear out old dungeons and raids, doing transmog runs or farming for mounts, but your character just walks so slow and it seems to take forever, well let me introduce you to a beautiful thing called speed sets, where you can basically make your character run faster than mounts. Now what speed sets are exactly is a combination of Battle for Azeroth, Azerite gear, certain items and enchants, and a few other things. So I've decided to make a video on how to make a speed set in World of Warcraft Dragonflight. Now if you're going to make a speed set, a really handy thing to have is the monkey speed on. All that is is this little box here which tells you how fast you're moving. When you first download it you'll probably notice that you're moving at only like 100 to 104 percent like me and so for comparison mounts move at 200 percent speed but like I said earlier you can actually move faster than 200 percent and actually reach the speed cap which is 250 percent. Some characters are faster than others like the druid here because it has the cat form but this works on all characters like my mage here which can reach over 200% speed with some spells and talents. But if you're going to make a speed set from scratch, the Night Elf Druid is the best. Race being a Night Elf because they have a passive 10% walking speed increase. And then the second best probably being a Worgen because they have a spell which increases your movement speed by 40% for 10 seconds. And then obviously the class being a Druid because it's got the cat form which increases your movement speed by a ton. Other good mobility races like the Monk, the Rogue, and the Mage are really good, but the speed set is still effective on any character, so if you don't want to make a new character, then it's all good. So the first part of your speed set we'll talk about is your boots. You want to go to the auction house and buy some boots, but they need to be below level 50. That's because we're going to put an old enchantment on it from Classic WoW called Minor Speed, which can only be applied to boots below level 50. This basically gives you a flat speed increase, which is completely separate from any other items or enchantments that give you speed so you can just buy the enchantment scroll off the auction house as well and then go ahead and enchant your boots next you'll want to get your heart of azeroth necklace along with three pieces of azerite gear with the long strider ability on them what long strider does is it increases your movement speed based off of your highest secondary stat so for example, my druid here has 40% mastery and 20% critical strike. So if I want to increase the speed, I would just find items that increase my critical strike and that would make me run faster. If you don't have your heart of Azeroth yet, then you'll want to play through the Battle for Azeroth campaign up until the point where you get your heart of Azeroth upgraded. It's a little bit confusing, but in your Battle for Azeroth's capital city, you should find a quest, A Dying World, which was located here on the map for me in Borealis. Play through that a bit and then you'll unlock the Nazjatar campaign. You just play through the intro of that until it returns you back to Borealis. And then you should get a quest going back to the Chamber of Heart where you'll get your Heart of Azeroth upgraded. So this is basically all that you need to do. I don't think I'm missing anything, but there aren't really any clear guides online on how to actually do it. But I think this is pretty accurate. Anyways, next we'll need to farm some Battle for Azeroth dungeons and raids and find some Azerite gear with the Longstrider ability on it. I'll have a link in the description to a website. If you scroll down a little bit on the page, it'll show you what pieces of Azerite gear will drop from which bosses that will have the Longstrider enchantment on it. So just run through some BFA dungeons, and then when you get the piece of Azerite gear that you need, just right click on it, and then select the Longstrider ability, and then click the middle button and stuff, and yeah. And if the piece doesn't drop for you, then you can also just run through the dungeon again on a different difficulty. So you can have quite a few attempts at getting the item. If not, then you can just come back the next day when the dungeon's reset. But yeah, there's quite a few places you can get long strider as right gear, so it didn't take me too long at all. Now the next thing we're going to talk about on a speed set are the rings. You'll want to get someone with Shadowlands dual crafting to craft you rings with speed on them. And you'll want to try and keep the item level as high as possible and choose something like critical strike or haste as your stats on the rings so that you're getting more use out of the battle for azeroth long strider ability so i just found someone to craft me two of these and then you can actually socket them with these green gems from the auction house you can't have two of the same gem but choose these two gems here and they will give you even more speed and then on top of that, you can actually enchant the rings. So haste is my secondary stat on my mage. So I just found the dragonflight haste enchantment and then put that on my rings. For your cloak, just use any cloak you want from dragonflight and then just enchant it with homebound speed, which will give you a nice 125 speed increase. For the trinkets, you can actually get trinkets with speed stats on them. So just look through the auction house at dragonflight trinkets and you should be able to find some with the speed stat on it and it's at this point where things might start getting a little bit pricey now the last items that we'll need are our hands our waist our pants and wrists 
So for these last four items, you can just straight up buy them off the auction house with the speed stat on it. There's usually these moonless or these sunless green items up on the auction house. Now people are realizing that some of us are making these speed sets, so the items with plus speed on it usually get bought out and listed for a higher price. It kind of sucks. So I just did these dragon flying challenges, which gave me over 500 gold each time. So if you're broke like me, then it's just a nice simple way to earn gold to buy these items. And then lastly, you can go to the auction house and buy a speed enchant for your braces which will give you a nice 200 speed but yeah that's about it also you can buy these charged files off the auction house which will give you a mass of 743 to your speed obviously you can mess around with your talents and stuff and see if you can give yourself some haste or something to make you move faster the mage has awesome mobility so after every time you blink you get a speed increase for a little bit there's lots of abilities which increase my haste which is always good and every time i use my invisibility cooldown it gives me a massive speed boost so it's really nice for my druid i haven't even finished making the speed set i've still got a couple of trinkets to buy and a couple pieces of armor and i'm already at over 200 percent so i'm already moving faster than amount without using a potion or anything so it's really not too hard to reach the 250 percent limit if you make a druid so anyways that's about it i just wanted to sum up and simplify how to get a speed set all in one video you can probably go a little bit more in depth with it there's a few guides out there but i think i covered pretty much all of the main points but yeah i didn't even know speed sets existed until recently i think they just started getting more popularity in shadowlands and it's just been a massive help because i'm always farming for mounts and running through old raids doing transmog runs because i really need to work on my major's transmog so i hope this guide helped a bit and that's about it see you later